Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are all doing fantastic out there. So, you know, whenever it comes to multi-streaming, I am under the thought that the easier it is for somebody to do, the more likely they are to actually do it. And a few months or so ago, it's been like a couple months now, actually, wow. Uh, I did a video for you all about a multi-stream plugin for OBS Studio called Atom Multi-Stream. And at the time, I thought it was the best way to multi-stream to any platform you want locally from your main workstation, gaming PC, whatever you want to do here, okay? And I still stand by that video. I use it on a daily basis whenever I stream over to Twitch and Kick, but there actually is a newcomer to the streaming world that many of you might not really have heard of, and that is Meld Studio. I've been using this for the past few months, uh, you know, beta testing it and everything. And overall, it's been a very smooth experience, I will say that. But the thing that I really want you guys to pay attention about Meld is this newest release they have. They have their own built-in multi-streaming tool. And it's not a plugin you have to download or anything like that, configure it. It's all set up inside the application for you and you just got to either log in via twitch or if you don't want to stream to twitch you can just go ahead and input your streamer key and streamer url so we're going to go ahead and set this thing up for you guys all right everybody so as you can see i already have my scenes here and everything made up i got my audio sources uh you know in check here everything laid out here the way i like it but how do you actually start streaming here with meld studio y'all it's ridiculously simple like it's insane here okay so I'm going to go and go to file, I'm going to go and go to preferences, and then I'm going to go up here to stream settings under general and click on add output. Now, what I like about it is that whenever you click on Twitch, it will give you the option to actually log in to your Twitch account via Meld Studio. And in this newest version, this is actually a new feature that I like to see a lot. I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here real quick. And then as you can see, whenever you hit log in, it just asks you to authorize it. I'm going to go ahead and hit authorize. And just like that, there it is. Okay, so as you can see here now, folks, it actually has an output for Twitch up here. So whenever I hit go live, it will just go out to Twitch. But let's say that I want to stream to kick as well. I mean, why wouldn't you? More eyes on your content, right? All you got to do is go up to file, preferences, general. Make sure you're here on stream settings. And all you got to do is hit add output. Now, since we already logged into Twitch, we can't do that again, obviously. So I'm going to go and hit custom destination here. I'm going to name this here kick. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my stream server and stream key. Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, just like that, all we have to do is go ahead and just click out of this to confirm it. The only thing that I really wish Meld Studio would actually add to their dialog boxes here is an apply or OK button to just let us know visually that we are for sure confirming the changes we are making. But maybe that will come later. So to confirm these changes, as a matter of fact, you'll already see it popped up here for kick. Go and just click out of this and there we go. Now, whenever I hit go live, it's going to go live on both of these services at the exact same time, which is a really cool little feature there, if you ask me. All right. Now, let's say that I'm live streaming here, right? And I want to just stream to one of them. Let's say I had a good run over on Twitch and I want to just continue my stream over on Kick. How do I do that? All I have to do is come up here, click on the little uh, toggle here. And I am now offline on Twitch and I'm streaming just to kick. So that's a very nice little feature. And I like to see it here. I really do. Now, as far as Meld Studio goes, I actually do plan on making a dedicated video showing you guys and gals how I set up my uh, scenes and everything in there. I, I really do like like there are a lot of features inside of Meld Studio that you would normally have to download plugins to get in OBS Studio. So the fact that everything is built into Meld makes it a lot easier, in my opinion, for a new streamer to just jump in, add a scene add their webcam, all that stuff, and they'll be good to go in about 5-10 minutes, depending on what they want to actually do to their scenes inside of Meld Studio. But as far as the built-in multi-stream tool, I think this is awesome. Like, I, I think it's very intuitive. It, it's you, you, you really can't mess it up, especially if all you're doing is just copying and pasting the, uh, you know, stream key and URL, and then, and then again... If you would like to just, you know, log in to Melt Studio via Twitch, you could do it that way as well, too. So, like, very intuitive, very easy. Anybody could do it. And, yeah, you know what? I recommend it, y'all. I really do.
But what do you guys and gals think? I think this might take you away from OBS Studio a little bit and that Ada Multistream plugin. Do me a favor, sound off down below. And hey, you know what? Speaking of comments, y'all, let me know down below if you would like to see some actual Meld Studio tutorials on this channel. I will gladly do them for you. Not a problem at all. So folks, as per usual, like I just said, question, concerns, comments down below. I love reading them, love responding to you guys and gals. And if you need anything else, give me a holler, okay? I love you guys and gals. Thanks a lot for coming by again, y'all. My name is Terry, and I'll catch you all in the next one.